the percentage off offer is hands down and a super effective method of moving a lot of product really quickly. Now I'm going to give you how I came up with my percentage offer and what I learned from Best Buy. I noticed that Best Buy would have these televisions because I was in the market for a television and they had this television and it was on sale and it dropped $500 because it was like $2,500 and I got it for, no, it dropped more than two, it dropped more than 500 bucks because once the sales tax and everything came up, it was $1,899. And during this course of searching for televisions, I noticed that they would have televisions that were looked to be very similar, but they would have different model numbers. And what Best Buy would do was create special televisions for their promotions. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. I wonder if I can do that too. So what I started to do was create special offers that I could crank the price down and still get what I want. And it works out beautifully because percentage off works really great for your low income crowd, you know, and it's about perceived value because what I'm going to do is crank it up because some of these courses are going to be $10,000, $11,000, $20,000. A few people will buy at those rates, but most people can't. So when I say that this is $20,000 and we cut it 75% to, oh, 4,500, it looks like an incredible deal even though it's the same old product that I was selling six months prior at 4,500 or even less. Now, why does this work? Well, once again, let's go back to audience. You have your old audience who are going to buy within one week to two months. That's typically where most people are going to buy. And 70% of your sales are going to come, well, for me. And once again, you should do your testing on your audience. But for me, I've tested my audience. I've actually got on the phone. Most of my sales happen the first two weeks after someone finds me. And then, you know, about 70%. Then the rest happened in that two-month period. That's very powerful information and you should find out and you should ask your audience, when are you buying? Because that's going to lead you to make better marketing and funnel decisions because I really don't have a funnel. It's straight from checkout from YouTube page to checkout page, direct marketing. That's what I'm talking about here, you know, and it's really interesting because the percentage off is amazing because New audience members are showing up. Give you a great example. A few months ago, I figured out a YouTube algorithm. It doesn't work anymore, but I'm going to figure out another one. And I got like 20,000 subscribers. And I was getting sales every day. The thing is, I need to get new people in to make new sales. Because typically the folks who are on your list, the older folks, they're not going to buy. Or they're just used to the free information. This is something I have found out you should test for your audience in your situation. But the percentage off offer can work magic. You can literally, once you set it up with a blanket offer, a targeted offer, and then you can come down to a percentage offer, it's crazy how much money you can make. But once again, you must have the perception of value. There's a lot of people who want to speak to me. And part of this is a trust issue. And part of this is a respect issue. They want to speak to me for free. They do not want to pay any money to speak to me. Now, in the future, as I gain more credibility with the newer audience, that problem will disappear. You have people who feel that if I sit down and talk to them for free, then it's quite valuable. But if they got to pony up some money, it's not that valuable. And that's very telling because that says that that segment of my audience does not respect me, which is cool, which is fine. That's what's going to happen. You need to gain the trust, the respect to get conversions. And with the percentage down offer, because let's say I'm going to actually do this in the near future. Let's say I have something that's a $7,000 product and I'm going to bring it down to 1500 bucks. If I make 20 sales in a week, I make $30,000 in a week. From the outside looking in, it's like, it must not have been worth that. You know, he drastically re reduced the price. Oh, God, it's, it's a scam. 
The people who are saying that were never going to buy. They weren't going to buy at 20000 They weren't going to buy at 15000 They weren't going to buy at 5000 They weren't even going to buy at 100 bucks. Uh, there's a part of your audience that likes to be harbingers of destruction. And they literally watch you and subscribe to you and on your email list and your telephone list to see if you crash and burn. But once again, you're a little ways off. You should have an audience of of a thousand people to test this out. If you have an audience of, that's really tight, you could probably do it with 250, but the optimum number I would say would be around 5,000 for you to run the blanketed offer, the targeted offer, and the percentage off offer. Or you can actually run them in reverse and they may work just as well.